Hey, Dave Austin here, and it is Monday at noon. Game ready time for you to get your week started right. So today, get there fast by going slow. What the heck does that mean? Hey, we got to go, baby. We got to get there. Truth is, we get in such a hurry, we get so speeded up, that we actually get there a lot slower because we make mistakes in that. You need to breathe. You need to breathe and take your time and enjoy each step of the journey. You know, right now, because there's so many internet marketers out there selling us on, gosh, go, baby, go, go, go. This is the easy, this is the easy way to do anything. It can happen overnight for you. It can happen like it did for me. Well, if you look at into those people, I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I guess it is a bit. They've never been successful other than selling you on trying to buy to get rich quick schemes. There's a, I was kind of motivated to do this uh, kind of the subject matter today because I saw a guy who posted, you know, write a book in 40 hours, be speaking on big stages, make millions of dollars like tomorrow, all these incredible promises. And uh, I don't normally do, I just go buy those, but I couldn't help but post. I actually saw it last week. You couldn't post and say, okay, if you write a book in 40 hours, you can, but don't let anybody read it because a book is personal. It's your whole thing that you're doing. And it's like saying, be an Olympic athlete by just doing exercise today and, and tomorrow you'll be playing in the Olympics. Well, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm Mr. Positive. I'm optimistic. But I also know that it takes maturing and growing. I know for my own, I've written three best selling books, but they didn't happen overnight. It took a while. And I'm glad I took the while because I'm much more proud of those books. And yes, I get to speak on some pretty big stages, but I didn't do it overnight. I, I spoke at a lot of little things and grew my craft. It's okay to grow your craft. It's okay to slow down a little bit because all of a sudden you'll be there faster. You won't be, you won't be that one moment of, oh, I had the success and then gone. That's why with the Olympic athletes I work with or the pro athletes I work with, they work at their craft every single day to become that major league player. Well, business is no different. And the only reason I really put this out there is because I see a lot of people get discouraged because they see this stuff and go, oh, why can't I do that? Or they pay money to come to an event and, they, and, and this guy has been so good at making it look so easy and then they get discouraged. They're going like, oh, I guess I'm just not smart. I guess that just wasn't meant for me because, you know, I'm just not smart enough. He made it look so easy or she made it look so easy. Don't beat yourself up. Dive into something that you love and be willing to, to, to keep crafting it, become better and better. Right now, there's a lot of people selling, become an expert overnight. Well, you know what? If you've got a long background of something and you get mentorship of how to use that big background that you have, how to, how to step into uh, utilizing it in something that you really now work at on a day-to-day -day basis, you can become an expert. It's awesome. But it's this falseness appearing real is going around so much. I just felt I wanted to address it more for you, so you get, don't get hoodwinked and don't get discouraged if someone makes something look so easy and so simple, and it's a moment of flash in the pan uh, type thing, and, and you go, oh, but they made it look so easy. I don't know why I make it so complicated. Well, I think that's the art of working at anything is to do something and keep doing it and then it becomes simpler because of the work that you do but to just be led blindly by someone who is selling you something that says hey yo this is easy you know my good friend uh, Greg Reed who's written a lot of good books but he doesn't necessarily write it himself he'll even tell you that hey you know what I get experts to write my books for me I give them the information they're better writers than I so I give them the information so I have a good book there's an expertise in that so in anything that you do the more you love it the more you stay true to it the better success you'll have and that's what I mean by get there fast by going slow sometimes I I've watched people who just jump in and they just they make so many mistakes that they actually have slowed themselves down rather than get some more information and it's not I don't want you to think that it's not taking action you do want to take action you do want to step forward because that's part of the learning process but just give yourself some 
some love along the way because you are going to learn along the way. You're going to learn if you so choose to. Rather, what happens to a lot of people, they go, oh, they made it sound so easy. They jump in and then all of a sudden, oh, there's another shiny object over there and jump over to that shiny object and just keep going back and they're on a rat race. Around and around and around and around they go. You never break your pattern and really truly become an expert in something. It's like, you know, I went to <laughs> my, my mother-in-law's 80th uh, birthday was this week and we had a beautiful uh, brunch to celebrate her 80th uh, birthday. And oh, I want to reach out to Mary Kay that you're on. So glad that you're on. I know you don't get a chance to be with us that much because you're flying all over the world, but it's always a gift to have you here. But we, there was a, um, you paid a lot of money at this restaurant, you know, for their buffet. But I'll tell you, it is a buffet of buffets. So many choices. And I'm like going, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I would love that. Oh, I would love this. And I started eating, but I had to choose what I was going to eat. I, I'm going like, but I paid a lot of money. I almost felt like I had to, had to eat it all because I paid money to do this, and there's stuff I'm not eating. Truth is, I got full. I couldn't eat everything. I had to make a choice of what I will eat here. Even though I paid money, I can't take it all in. And that's a message in life. We try to, you know, gosh, I've got 10 meals I want to eat in this one sitting. One sitting. But the truth is, our bodies aren't made to do that. And I, I really believe in this message today is that if you want to be successful, have sustainable success. Have consistent success by learning and growing along the journey. If you see, like in this case, it was funny. I posted, and I, again, I say I don't normally. I didn't try to be too negative. I just said, just make sure that you work this, whatever information you get. The fact that you can do this overnight doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have success. And there was a lot of actually negative comments under this guy's sponsored ad for this uh, program he's putting on here in San Diego coming up. And, you know, I looked today. I saw the post again. All the negatives have been removed. And only one now the ones, some of them you can tell are coined. I know the business well enough where you, you, know, you, you call them planted. Um, and I thought, wow, that's interesting that anything that was negative was removed. I guess that's part of being business, but just, I guess the point is, is have your eyes wide open, be willing to get there faster by slowing down and learning as you go and keep taking the steps with big, deep breath. Then you'll find yourself exactly where you want to be and you won't beat yourself up as much along the way and thinking, oh man, why can't I do it? I see these other people doing it. Uh, it's not about them. It's about you. So. Get there fast by going slow. Breathe. Breathe in this day. There's a lot of great things for you to be able to accomplish. I, I'm a full believer that every single person has a genius within them. But we have to allow to learn how to bring that genius out and that what we choose to do. Now, this week is really an exciting week for me because I'm having an extreme focus training. These are mentors that are going to come in that are actually amazing. The people who have signed up, I am so honored and humbled by it. But there are already really great coaches, some of them, that are coming here to learn our method so that they can even become better. And uh, that really excites me. I love sharing this. And they're going to go through a 12-week program. They're going to learn how to be a mental performance coach at how I do it. I've been doing it for 20, 30 years. So I'm going to share what I've learned in all that experience, not only in the how to coach people, but then how to turn it into a business that you become profitable. I didn't have anybody show me this when I started. I had passion. I had to learn. I had to keep learning and keep learning. Sometimes there were expensive learning that I went through. So for me to be able to share to others so more people can have this, because a mentor, you know, having a mentor is really, really valuable. Last week I had the incredible Cree Morris on with me on the Facebook, and he's a quarterback guru. He talked about how uh, Tom Brady has a mental coach that he talks to every single day. And you wonder, how does he do these incredible things? Well, he puts himself in a place. He stacks up things so that he is always putting himself in a position. So when you're in the Super Bowl and you're down, you don't just all of a sudden go, oh, okay, I'm going to do this. It's been a process. Give yourself some processes and systems. And I'm a strong believer in getting mentorship, not not opinions. Opinions are from your friends. Well, what do you think of this? What of that? Well, they're just going to give you their belief system. And without the knowledge, 
that maybe you need to get accurate information. Get counseling. Get people that you trust, that know, that have been there, have done these things and, and, and understand these things and have been there so that you can make really solid, very, very clear decisions. Because you've heard me on these Mondays talking about clear decisions. If you're in murky water, you're kind of like, Ugh, it's hard to move. You don't know which way to turn. But if you put on goggles and all of a sudden everything's clear, it's a lot easier. And that's what you know we try to do here with our Extreme Focus coaches, all of them. I see Tony Bodo's on, an amazing, an amazing man. And what he does for companies, I'll tell you what, is so valuable. Whatever these companies pay him, their value is tenfold what they're getting because he's a man of passion, but he's also a man of expertise. He has studied his subject matter. He lives his subject, subject matter, and he's always growing it, always growing it. That's the fun. And, and, and so that's when you learn how to do that, then you truly can be the success that you want to visualize and see in your life. So I see Thomas is on. How you doing, Thomas? I know others have come on. It's hard for me. I, I, I decided to come outside of my cabana back here. I love it out here. So it's hard for me to see everyone. So if I don't recognize you, I appreciate you. And I'll recognize you when I, uh, after this is over and it's recorded. But I really do appreciate you taking the time and, and being with us. I get some wonderful messages. You never know when you do these things. Is anybody really here? And there is a certain amount, and it's growing. But I get some wonderful messages, even from people in, you know, other parts of the world that uh, say that they've learned something that has affected and grown them. So that gets me excited. I know when I'm driving or doing something, let's say you're listening to an audio book or someone's message, all of a sudden that one little trigger. I know how many times it's helped me in my life. I know that, that all of a sudden, ah, that's perfect. That's going to add to what I already know. And not only know it, but it's going to help me incorporate it and be it. That's the secret. It's not just knowing it. It's becoming it, and that takes some practice. So get there fast by slowing down, breathing it in, take it in. So with that said, it's game ready time to get your vision going, you know, so you can see it and keep growing into it and get clearer and clearer on your vision of that which you so choose to, to go after. The first thing I always do is, you know, set your intentions for the week. What are the three key things you want to focus points? What are your focus points for this week? Where do you want to hone in on for this week? Anything outside that can be a distraction. Just really get into the, the mode of how you're going to set this week up for yourself. And if you can't do it, you know, I'm doing it where right now, but if, you, if it's not here at this moment, go ahead and then after this, take some time and really think about what it is that you really want to hone in on. Then, you know, this all becomes a recording. Just move it right up to the, to the game ready and then do the visualization. Or do the visualization, visualization now and then do it again and again and again and again. You know, it wouldn't hurt you to do it every single day, to tell you the truth. Because when you see your success over and over and over again and that which you desire, that's how you become the creator of your success. Now, the next point in this is those that have, have been here before, is, ha ha, I see you've already put on gratitude. Ha 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 I see Thomas just put up the, it, it's about mm, taking in gratitude. And Christy, how awesome to have you on. Incredible, incredible. Great singer, great mom. <laughs> um, anyway, so just take a moment and think about all the things you're grateful for. I am so incredibly grateful. I just celebrated my 31st anniversary this last Thursday with my incredible, beautiful wife. I'm a lucky man. And I have four incredible boys. What a, what a gift it is. So I just want to, when I think of gratitude, it's just taking that moment, really focus on that. We did a practice yesterday where Kathy and I, we thought about the three people, just pick any three people who we're really grateful for that has had an impact on our lives. And it was really cool because it was hard to pick only three. There's been a lot more than three, but I, we thought about, I came up with three and she came up with three and we expressed gratitude and it was so cool. I ended up texting all of them. Some I haven't talked in a while, just saying how grateful I am that they're in our lives because they were game changers for us. What a, what a gift that is when you tap into gratitude. So allow yourself to really fully tap into this moment of gratitude for what you have. 
Now, in the strength of that, I want you to go ahead and close your eyes. In gratitude, you're 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 elevating yourself right now. Now, go ahead in this moment, mm, see a gate and pass through the gate. And as you pass through the gate, oh man, there you are in nature. That's where you know a place you've been to before. Those that are on this call for the first time. Look for a place that you've been to before, a combination of places maybe, or you're the creator. Create it now or just enjoy my backyard. I am, you know, thoroughly love where I live because it's all nature. That's why we chose to live here. We visualize this place before we ever found this place. So see the beauty of walking through a gate into this place in nature and breathe in the beauty of it. Nature loves to be appreciated, so it's a give and take. As you look around you in your mind and see this, just appreciate it. And nature is appreciating the fact and, and, and it's this exchange. And so feel an energy within you. So bring it in. You're breathing in a strength beyond your own. That breath was deep through my nose all the way to the pit of the stomach. Do that at least four times. At least four times so that you are breathing in this gift of life. At such a high level it's all here for you you just have to slow down to actually experience it then you'll get to every destination faster I guarantee it just breathe this energy in and feel a strength as I say beyond yours the bigger you is showing up within you see another gate now at the other end and go through that gate and as you go through that gate oh my gosh there you are in your life and that what you want to accomplish get very very zoned in on it very, see it very clear and see yourself taking those steps and celebrating each step. Each step, celebrate it. Enjoy this life. Enjoy this journey and see yourself having that success so your mind can allow yourself to tap in, become very familiar with that kind of success for you. Maybe it's a certain uh, amount of money you want to make this month or next month. See it happening. See it in your bank account and seeing the yes so that now your subconscious mind is going, yeah, of course you can do that. I'm familiar with that. Or maybe it's, you know, whatever it is that you're, you're choosing to do. See it clearly and see it, it taking place because of the action steps. See the action steps in this moment that you took to create the success. What a gift. Even when there were challenging moments, you chose to keep moving forward. Even if there was fear, you just faced the fear and walked through. Courage doesn't mean there's an absence of fear. It means that it's how you face it and then shift it into commitment. Fear is awesome because it gives you an energy that's actually powerful when you shift it into commitment. Never run from it. See that and see that's who you are and you're becoming it more each day. And you're allowing yourself to see it so clearly that you're seeing the true gift you're bringing to yourself and you're walking more boldly in that gift. Now come back through the gate come back in and and I want you to just uh, come back into nature come back into nature and uh, just there we are going wow how cool is it to see your life living so fully so committed to the excellence that you truly are the gift that you really are and now you're bringing your gifts out for more people to experience your own your gifts and they're believe it or not they open to their gifts just because you have your very presence so now you're back in this beauty you're going wow so cool to see myself living so fully and being in this beautiful place. See a well of water, go to the water, drink from it. So nourishing, so life-giving. Feel it running through your veins. Oh, the coolest, most refreshing water you've ever tasted. It's running through your veins and you feel energized, you feel a power within you that's always there, but you're now open to it. To walk in that kind of strength, right in this very moment, you're walking in that strength. And you see it clearly now. Go ahead and walk out through the gate and you're game ready to have an awesome week. And as you go through this week, I challenge you every day, every night to think of something that, you know, what was the best thing that happened to you today and be grateful for it. When you wake up in the morning, start your day in gratitude. Man, that's a power. That's a powerful energy that will guide you all the way. So until next Monday, or if we talk before then or maybe you're coming to our certified coaching or if you want to know anything about our certified coaching don't be afraid you know the answer is no if you don't even ask so if you want to have questions on it reach out to me private message me 
say, what does this really mean? And what would it take to be a part and, and, and have the ability to do this? It's here at my home in Rancho Santa Fe. It's going to be awesome. I am so pumped and so excited. And then Sunday, we celebrate Shane and Megan's, uh, they're getting married June 3rd, and we're having a couple's shower that we're going to have a blast here as well. A lot of things to celebrate, and I'm sure there's many things in your life you can celebrate. So find those things that you want to feed and grow and celebrate them fully. Thank you for being on. Oh my gosh, Stacy. Hey, Stacy. Great to have you on. Love you.